Welcome to our prayer meeting tonight. It's indeed a wonderful thing to worship our living God through our prayer meeting. And uh, I'd like to invite everyone who are watching us right now to please uh, um, stay tuned. And uh, of course, to those who are watching us, following us via Facebook Live, you can you can now log in to our with uh, our Facebook page and uh, join us in our uh, virtual prayer meeting tonight. So in the name of our loving God and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, I warmly welcome everyone to our prayer meeting. Let's enjoy this uh, moment with our Almighty God in our corporate prayer, our virtual corporate prayer. As usual, we need to ask God's guidance and blessings as we entrust to Him this uh, prayer meeting. Join me as uh, we are going to come together in prayer. Father, we thank you so much that we can come to you tonight and we can entrust our prayer meeting to you. And uh, we are glad that uh, in the midst of uh, the challenges, circumstances in life, we can come to you as our Heavenly Father who is uh, faithful, who is merciful, who is gracious, a loving Father who is uh, uh, with us and we know that uh, your comfort, your help, your presence is always available to us as we put our dependence, as we put our confidence in you. And so Father, we ask for blessings in our virtual prayer meeting tonight. Thank you so much for your presence and uh, may you will just help us enjoy our moment with you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. In uh, before we are going to spend the uh, time together in prayer, let's have first the meditation of God's word. And uh, the passage that I am going to read to us tonight is uh, taken from one of the gospel, uh, one of the gospels recorded by Mark uh, in Mark chapter one verse thirty five. It says, uh, it says here in the New International Version Bible. 
very early in the morning while it was still dark jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed that's uh, our verse for tonight and uh, in this uh, segment of uh, the scripture the passage uh, tells us that our lord jesus christ early in the morning uh, got up and went to a solitary place, uh, place in order to have his moment with his father and uh, we know during the earthly ministry of the lord jesus christ how busy he was as he engaged in different kinds of ministries the ministry of healing, the ministry of deliverance, as he discipled his uh, followers. And he's, he was indeed a busy person, but uh, he sits to it that he will spend his moment with his father. And uh, of course, we know that time is so precious and valuable to all of us. We cannot afford to lose our, uh, most of our time. Because we know that uh, what we wasted today could no longer be recovered someday. The time that we can waste today would not be recovered someday. We live in a busy world where time flies so fast and unnoticed. And uh, the tyranny of uh, busyness is real. Everybody seems to be busy in doing their, uh, their, their activities. And... Uh, Sometimes, in the midst of uh, our busy and hectic schedule, we tend to forget our time with our Heavenly Father. And so tonight, let's be reminded of uh, the word of the Lord, of, uh, of the life of the Lord, I mean. Because we tend to lose most of our precious time because we are not intentional in doing what we plan to do. In a similar way, if we are not intentional and consistent in uh, breaking away from our hectic schedule to be with our Almighty God or to be with our Heavenly Father, we might be losing an opportunity to know God more and more and to develop intimacy with Him. If uh, He is not given a priority in our lives, we will eventually walk down in the pathway of familiarity over intimacy. That uh, we, can, we tend to be familiar with uh, the Lord and some spiritual things and we miss the essential thing and that's to develop our intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father. In our passage today, Jesus woke up early in the morning to pray. And according to William MacDonald, Jesus rose a long while before daylight and went out to a place where he would uh, he would be free from distraction and spend time in prayer. The servant of Jehovah opened his ear each morning to receive instructions for the day from God the Father. If the Lord Jesus Christ felt the need of this early morning quiet time, how much more should we as God's servants, as God's children, as God people. MacDonald also added that notice to that he prayed when it cost him something. Even if he is uh, busy with a lot of uh, things to be done, he made it a priority to spend time with the Father. He rose and got out and out a long while before daylight. Prayer should not be a matter of personal convenience, but of self-discipline, self-sacrifice, and commitment. Again, if we are going to look at our verse, I just like to reread, not read again the verse. Ver uh, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. And from this verse, we can glean or draw three important ideas uh, in the prayer of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one of that is from the phrase, very early in the morning. 
and gives us the idea of how discipline our Lord Jesus Christ in His prayer. Very early. And he says to it that every morning he spent time with his heavenly father. It's a matter of discipline. Disciplining himself to have his moment with his heavenly father. And you know, discipline is very important to the athlete. They knew the importance of discipline in order to excel in the field. They have to spend so much time in uh, doing the physical exercise or discipline of uh, the things that we need, they need to, to, to master. For the soldiers, they are engaged in physical uh, physical training and they are disciplined to do it. Musicians are disciplined also to play the instrument so that they will be able to play well in uh, the instrument that they are playing. I remember when I was also quarantined last last year starting august when where i was i was advised by my uh, dermatologist to, to 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 isolate myself to to be quarantined for 14 days because uh, my my sickness is contagious while having that uh, quarantine period I, I realized that i have to do something while have, while while i was uh, quarantine and so I, I decided to to discipline myself to um, raise up wake up I mean early morning and have a bodily exercise and also spiritual exercise after having 30 minutes of uh, spiritual exercise having time with the Lord in prayer reading his word I spend another 30 minutes for my physical exercise stretching my body parts because I see the need of also disciplining my body to become physically fit as I do ministry for the Lord. And so I have to discipline myself to maintain physical exercise. In a similar way, if we want to grow intimately, intimate with our relationship with our living God, with our Lord Jesus Christ, and we need to exercise discipline. And if we need to enjoy our moment with the Lord, we have to exercise the discipline of uh, prayer, the habit of a regular commun communion with our God. The second idea that we can throw in the verse that we had just read a while ago is that we can see the idea of self-sacrifice. Self, uh, that Jesus Christ rose up early morning. The verse says that while it was still dark, we don't know exactly what hour uh, is that but uh, still dark uh, he has to wake up early still dark and so he has to sacrifice and you know from their house he will go to a solitary place in the coldness of the night or the morning he have to spend a little bit of sacrifice in order to have his time with the father why the Lord Jesus Christ did it because he valued the importance of uh, having a, what we call quality time with his heavenly father. We also need to have that quality time with our heavenly father. We can only obtain and do that if we will discipline ourselves, if we will also do self exercise as sacrifice. Then the last idea that we can glean from the verse is that we can see the idea of commitment. The verse says that Jesus got up, left the house, and went, went off to a solitary place where he prayed. He made a commitment actually to go and have his communion with his heavenly father. I remember the commitment made by Joshua in the book of Joshua, chapter 24, the last chapter of the book of Joshua in verse 15 when he reiterated the commandment of the Lord to the Israelites as they enter, as they are now settling in the land of promise in Canaan wherein they were also surrounded by pagan people 
people who worship our God aside from the true and living God. I found the, his words very interesting when Joshua told the, uh, the, the, the people of Israel, uh, Israel, the Hebrews, that but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. It's a commitment that Joshua and his household will serve the Lord. Look at the verse. According to Joshua chapter 24 verse 15, it says, But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your ancestors serve beyond your priests or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. And here is the commitment of Joshua. And we can see this a strong and undying commitment. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. What a commitment. A commitment of service. But in the AD, in the passage that we have seen, um, in our passage, or in, our, in our verse, I mean, we can see here the idea of the commitment of the Lord Jesus Christ to spend ample time in prayer. A quality time that he has to spend with his heavenly father. Someone said, and I quote, No matter how busy Jesus was during his time here on earth, he never neglected his time with his father. For Jesus, very early in the morning while it was still dark, was the best time to pray where there is no crowds, no call of healing, no teaching, no driving out ministries, or no deliverance ministries, no disciples, and no disturbances. Jesus was up before daybreak and went out to a secluded place or a secluded spot showing us how private the affair was just between him and his heavenly father. By intentionally moving to a place of prayer free from clutter or free from clutter and noise or noises, Jesus had a greater opportunity to commune and listen to his heavenly father. Intimacy with the Father does not come cheap. It comes with a hard choice and a deep commitment. Jesus made a choice every day to meet His Heavenly Father. No matter how pressing the circumstances, no matter how hectic His schedule, Jesus did not allow anyone, any ministry, any demands or any need to interfere he, with his uh, his time with the Father. He guarded and secured the time that rightfully belonged to God. No one and nothing could ever take the place of God, and that's what we call commitment. Therefore, we need to make use of our time and spend it wisely. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, my dear Brethren, have a quality time with our God. Be intentional and make your time more precious with the Lord. Because in so doing, we will enjoy an intimacy with Him. And we can do that through as we exercise self-discipline, self sacrifice and commitment to give ample time to our Heavenly Father. I do not know about us today how much time we spent in our Heavenly Father. I know that as members of the household of faith, as believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are already praying, we are already communing to Him, we are already interceding to our, our God. But the challenge I'd like to give us tonight is to look at the example set by our Lord Jesus Christ and emulate His examples, His idea, the, the ideas we can see from what He did recorded in the Gospel of Mark. His uh, discipline, His the way He uh, exercised His uh, 
commitment to commitment to spend that moment with his heavenly father i know most of us are busy with our activities our 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 daily routine and we still we are still coping up with the challenges of times during the time of pandemic but we must remember that we still have to develop and we will not neglect the habit of prayer having ample time having um having a regular moment with our heavenly father of course we can choose our time will wherein there will be no disturbances no one would would disturb us through texting or chatting or we can eat off our gadgets and spend that moment with the lord there will be no disturbances noise that would uh, be uh, that would that would interfere in our our moment with our heavenly father and so therefore tonight as we'll be spending again this time with our heavenly father in prayer let's be reminded that god also wanted us to enjoy our moment with him we have to spend quality time with our heavenly father in prayer i don't know when we say quality time it requires discipline it requires commitment requires uh, the dedication from ourselves to be with him we can do that and we will do that intentionally not conditionally but we will make up make it as a habit intentionally we are going to spend ample time with our heavenly father a time of uh, fellowship with him a time of worship a time a moment of uh, a moment of uh, interceding a moment of worshiping a moment of fellowshipping with him and so tonight as uh, we are going to spend uh, the remaining minutes in in prayer and intercession it's very minded that our Lord jesus christ while he was still here on earth shows us showed us the importance of having quality time with our heavenly father before i am going to lead in prayer i want to request the head of the family or will be that you will are going to choose your your prayer leader and uh, lead your group your family in prayer the prayer request will be a flashed in your screen just go through reading uh, those uh, different concerns and spend ample time or oh, spend time enjoy time praying interceding enjoy your time with god and then afterwards you will just close in prayer but for now i'd like to offer a prayer to all of us it's uh, Come to it in prayer. Join me as I am going to lead you in prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for reminding us that we need to spend quality time with you in prayer. Father, we thank you for showing us that uh, we need to have an intimate moment with you. You have demonstrated us how to develop such uh, intimacy with the Heavenly Father. You showed us a kind of uh, a commitment, a kind of uh, discipline in communing to your Heavenly Father. And uh, it showed us that you truly depend on Him and you are determined to follow and obey His will. Lord, thank you for these uh, very important reminders. And for now, I would like to lift up to you our brothers and sisters, those who are watching, following, and listening our program. We pray that you will also minister to each and every one of them. As we are going to spend the, the uh, uh, remaining minutes in prayer, in communing with you, we ask that the Holy Spirit will help us, will guide us on how to pray. And that you will also help us, Lord, enjoy this wonderful moment with you. 
I pray for each one, every family, every household. We pray for our church, UEC Jensen, and the churches of our brothers and sisters who are watching us. We pray, Lord, for your blessings, blessings of your divine protection, blessings of your abundant provisions, blessings of peace that is coming from you. And I pray, dear Lord, that you will also cover us with your holy and precious blood. Protect us, Lord, from uh, virus contamination, from sicknesses and diseases. Strengthen our physical body, our immune system. Help us to continually develop our time with you, that we will enjoy quality time with you in prayer. Thank you, Lord. We just honor, glorify, and magnify your name on high tonight. Thank you so much for the answer of our prayers, for we commit these things to you with gratitude in our hearts. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, enjoy your time with the Lord in prayer. God bless. God bless everyone. Thank you.